Oh my god, I got one. Oh, it's a giant. Oh god, stay on, stay on. Day two of the KBF Trail on the Trinity River. After an amazing day one, I was stoked giant for Sunday. Texas. 23 injured. Ended up with a fourth place check. However, with the wind change, my flipping bite slowed. All right, guys, haven't been bit yet. Hour and 15 in, a little frustrated. I knew I had to keep my head down and adapt if I wanted another big day. Got him! I found a new pattern. These uh, matted, super matted laid over reeds. That's three fish now. Um, Z-Man goat dipped in chartreuse and uh, three quarter ounce weight and a secret punch skirt my buddy made me. <laughs> let's, uh, let's start calling, I'm in second now. All right guys, we got day two of uh, Trinity River System here in Texas. Um, we're gonna give them heck. guys haven't been bit yet it's hour and 15 in a little frustrated I'm gonna go start flipping a different stretch of reeds let that area kind of just chill for a sec I'm not sure if that GoPro's running or not, but I just caught a 16 flipping. Um, first fish of the day, nothing huge, but again, guys, just got this Canada Craw Mag Fatty on a five aught hook, five sixteenth weight, and this first pass on these reeds. I'm not going to be flipping real heavy, real you know deep. <laughs> I'm not going to be flipping way back in the stuff. I'm going to kind of just lightly fish. Kind of lightly fish the outsides with this mag fatty and see and then i'll come back make another pass and flip the heavier stuff oh no that's not good so interesting enough, that fish was out in front of the reeds. Um, most of my fish have been, you know, at least a foot, foot and a half back in them. That fish is in front, so I probably, probably need to fish a little bit. Fish a little uh, differently to cover all of it. Look like there should have been a fish there. <laughs> 20 and 3 quarter, you guys. Look at the belly on that thing. Goodness. So similar to how to what I do when I'm punching, you guys, I always like to kind of work my way in. So I'll flip the outsides first and then start flipping a little bit deeper. That way. You know, if I, if I flip deep and catch a fish, it messes up everything in front of it. So I always, always kind of work the edges first. Um, always kind of work the edges first and then kind of move my way back. Yes, it, it sucks. And yes, I'm not a fan of sitting down and flipping and flipping and pitching. I definitely don't like to sit. It makes it a lot more difficult, much more difficult to make real good casts, but, um, and hook sets for that matter. But right now I'm in a position where I forgot my power pole and I'm trying to cover water. So I'm just using my boat, using this 360 drive to kind of keep my position. And uh, here in a little bit, I'll use a stakeout pole when I'm using that real heavy rig and flipping. Um, and I will stand up. All right, 
guys. That didn't work out. Pulling out every trick in the book here. And struggling a little bit to get bit today. I thought this might be a sneaky little spot. Oh, I got one! It's stuck in the reeds! No! Oh! Man, guys, that was pretty awesome. Did something different, started punching the middle of these islands and these kind of matted down reeds and biggest fish of the day. Let's get one more. lost a freaking big one. Got him! Woo! Get in the net. Woo! That's five, guys. Heck yes. Woo! GoPro start recording. 19 and a quarter. Just lost a six pounder. We are still in this, y'all. All right, guys, punching, punching, flipping. I uh, found a new pattern. These uh, matted, super matted laid over reeds. That's three fish now. Um, Z-man goat dipped in chartreuse and uh, three quarter ounce weight and a secret punch skirt my buddy made me. <laughs> guys we got an hour all I need to do is call an inch and we're gonna win this tournament man there's a seven pounder right there guys and I can't catch it it's too spooky oh shoot you guys I got greedy wasted the last hour trying to catch that seven pounder and there's a four pounder on two beds there, but I should have known right away. Those fish were so dang spooky, um, so spooky. And uh, I got greedy though, but we'll see where I ended up. Um, I'm gonna get back and load my stuff up. GoPro start recording. Ah, well guys, ended up in fourth place again. Ah, I really thought I could, really thought I could put that together and uh, uh, here's the crazy thing. The top five places were all separated by one inch. Um, I wish I would have fished cleaner, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, gosh, sorry. Sorry, y'all. I, I didn't drink a lick of water today and I've got a dehydration headache like y'all wouldn't believe. Um, however, still pretty stoked. Um, another top five finish, uh, out down here in Texas and that did move me up to third place in AOI 
my goodness, um, two fourth places this weekend. Um, I'll take it, guys. Uh, so, packing up and heading to Dardanelle, Arkansas for the Hobie BOS. I think the third trail stop or fourth trail stop there. Uh, I'll start practice tomorrow. So, again, always appreciate y'all. And, uh, woo! That's all I got. <laughs> Have a great weekend, y'all. Go catch them.